right hey how's everyone doing hey I want to show you uh, I was looking at my blog and I noticed on the home page that um, basically all of my descriptions were coming right from the articles this one I already fixed but if you look at this one it's sort of taking the first I don't know 20 words or something from the article putting the dot 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 and then it says continue reading you know so what that does is WordPress just grabs actually the theme and WordPress grab that that bit of text from the article to kind of give people a preview of what it's going to be like now what you can do instead is put different text there okay and this text uh, I like to start this kind of text with a with a verb okay saying asking people to kind of take action something is saying discover how to do this learn what a, what it will take those kinds of phrases kind of to get people to want to read the article to find out more about what it's about so I want to fix these and I thought well maybe some other people out there also wondering how to do this so I thought I'd make a quick video all right so here we are so let's go into this article I've already got it kind of pulled up and I want to change this text into something else okay and I'm going to go into my post and there's really nowhere to do it. What it's going to do is going to grab some of this text here. But what you can do if, if your theme is set up for it is you can use an excerpt. So you're going to go up to screen options and make sure excerpts are turned on. So you just click this box that says excerpt. Close this. And you'll scroll down and you'll either be along the side or more likely underneath the article you'll find a box that says excerpt it's a long article and it's right here okay so this is the text you can put in there and it says excerpts are optional handcrafted summaries of your content that can be used in your theme okay that's that means if your theme is using them and I tested my theme and it does look for an excerpt before it starts grabbing text from the article so that's what we're going to put in here. Now this article, let me just read the headline again. 14 tips. I keep changing the number because I keep adding stuff. But right now it's up to 14 tips on how to write great articles for your website. So I want to get people to read that. Okay, so I want to give them like a benefit. I haven't thought of this yet, so we'll see what I come up with. So 14 tips on how to write great articles for your website. So I'm going to use some text, uh, learn how to write, I got to look at it again, great articles for your website. Learn how to engage your audience so that, I like saying that, so they read your articles love them and share them with the world that sounds pretty cool right so I can go up here and we'll do update then I'll do a refresh it's done looks like it's done and hit a refresh here that's pretty good looks like I got room for a little more all right, so uh, right now I can see it changed. Learn how to engage your audience so that they read your articles, love them, and share them with the world. It's pretty good. It's better than what was there because what was there might really not have been, might have been like an introduction, not really trying to get them to read it. So that's basically it. I might work on this a little more, but I'll let you guys go. Just want to show you how that works. It's pretty cool. Down here on the side, I have my course, my free email course you can sign up for. Set up a website that pays in seven days. You guys want to check it out. Uh, I can build a, a great little WordPress site that'll make you money going forward. All right, see you later.